Okay, now in the second part is practical. We're going to look at simple random sampling. So remember, a simple random sampling, each subject has the same chance of being selected in the sample. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to open the FVC data set. So I go open. Browse, if I go to my data, where I've saved it, I have the FVC, and I open that. So remember this is the 127 12 year old boys and we're looking at lung capacity, height and weight. So what I'll do is I want to look at this idea of when you have a population mean, that is going to be the mean of everyone in that population. So I'm going to assume my population now is just these 127 boys. That's all we have. Instead of normally as I would consider these as a sample of all potential 12 year old boys, I'm just going to assume that my population is all these 127 year old boys. And what I want to do is I'm going to look at height. And I want to look at the average height. So first of all, we're going to, so we can identify each individual boy, we're going to give them an ID. So I'm going to call the column ID. And I'm going to go one, two, etc. we did before. And I'm going to drag this down to get all 127. And there's 127. Also, I'm just going to make it a little bit nicer, put them as actual ID numbers. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have the random number we had from the first section. So remember that is equal rand. I get a random number and I'm going to now drag this down again. So I have a random number in every single cell one for each individual. A bit slow, but they're nearly there. Excellent. Okay. So, the thing we're going to do is we're going to work out the population mean of this population. Because remember, this population is all 127 12 year old boys. So let's calculate this. So we're going to calculate the mean, which in Excel is called the average. So we could type in, or you could hit this and say, what do we want? We want an average. There's average, we click OK. And it wants to know where we're going to take the average from. So you could enter in all the cells you could do. It's also a nice thing in Excel, if you click on this, it will shrink that down and then you can go and highlight, we want the weight, we want to drag all the way down because we want the average of all these. So again, we'll drag it all down. It's a little bit slow way of doing it. And release, you can see it's put the numbers in here. It's saying that this is going from B12, so that first cell, the colon means two, so from B12 all the way to B128. And I click this button again, and you can see it's put it in there for you, and then you click OK. And we should get, and checking this on the sheet, we should get a 152.54. So the population mean of this population, which is 127 12 year old boys, is 152.54 centimeters. Now, let's think about it. Imagine we just took a sample of 10. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna calculate a sample, the average of just the first 10, so there, to there. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Close the brackets, hit return. So in this case, I got 44. Oh, I've made a mistake. Oh, as you can see, I've done weight. Let me move that across to height. Hit return. 152.9. So the sample mean of these first 10 is 152.9. Okay, so we haven't actually done simple random sample. I just set this up because what I can do now is 
I can go and sort on this rand. If I sort on this rand, it will randomize all these things, and that first 10 will now change. So at the moment, the first 10 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now if I go again to data, I click on sort, and I'm going to sort on rand, smallest to largest, click OK. So now I've randomized it. Now, my first 10, and here I've got number 52, number 1, 84, etc. Oh, it's moved it a little bit. Let me just move that up again. And now if I take the mean of the first 10, you can see now I've got 154.3. So the first time, that's right. So one, we had 152.90. Now when I did it, I had 154.30. So we've got no value, but we could do it again. Let's go sort, sort, sorry, let's undo that, sort. Let's try again, it seems to want to just do the numbers I've got there. Let me go over here, sort, that's better. Sort on run, click OK. Again, okay, unfortunately this has disappeared, but if we just put average, we just do the first 10 heights. We've now got the third time, I got 151.1. So let's think about what's happening here. This is the true population mean, 152.54. So if I take the mean of all them heights, I get 152.54. And then if I randomly take 10 of these heights, and once I've got them, I work out the sample mean of them 10, I get different answers each time. And you see these are reasonably close to the true answer. They vary. Um, this one's greater than the true answer. This one's very close. This one's actually um, a little bit less. And if you can re repeat this, keep doing it, and then you take the average of these sample means, so you, in this case, you would add up all three and divide by three, or if you had 20, you'd add up all 20 and divide by 20. As you do that more and more and more, you should find that we actually get closer and closer to this, the true answer. Okay, that's it for now.